planning for Women's Weekend in December of 2019 and the top of the year rolled around with COVID-19 around the month of February yeah. and we thought we were going to have a Women's Weekend event at the end of March. Yes. So what were you thinking when that was going on? Well, I think uh, honestly Romans 8:28 can sum it all up. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. Um, the way it all, you know, certainly hate that a virus came in to play, but I, it was at a time, you know, my mother passed away on mm -hmm. February 22nd. And even prior to that, she had been sick. I had been on the road traveling back and forth in the midst of trying to plan the Women's Weekend, so many other things going on. And when we got to that point where we had to cancel uh, the Women's Weekend, it was actually a relief, mm. you know? And I, I felt like, in my spirit, I felt like the Lord was rescuing me mm. because uh, I was just at a place where I just felt like I was overwhelmed. Mm. And I remember saying to the Lord, I can't do this. And uh, and so the Lord blessed um, us to be able to and I, you know, count it as a blessing. The Lord was uh, uh, disappointed that the women of God would not be able to uh, come together. You know, it's always a exciting time for us and all of that. But at the same time, it, I was just at a place where I wasn't ready for it. And so I cherish this opportunity to start all over again and yet make it happen. Yeah. So and with that being said, right, the women are anxiously awaiting. They've been waiting all year. So tell us, how did you make the decision to move forward with the event on this year? Well, initially we um, put it back. You know, we had scheduled it. It was supposed to be the end of March. Then we rescheduled it for July. And then we just decided, you know what, let's put it all the way and make it our last event of the year yeah. in October. Yeah. Thinking that by the time October got here, <laughs> COVID and all yeah. of this would be long out the way. We would still be able to have our conference and everything would be fine. Mm -hmm. And so here we are in October and we're still dealing with all of this. So we did um, do a, a, quite a few uh, deliberations and meetings trying to figure out whether we should have this or not. Mm -hmm. And of course, the first person we talked to was our pastor and mm -hmm. asked him and his his response was, we're back in church, so why not have it? Mm -hmm. And um, brought the team together. Um, the team's response was, let's go for it. Let's do this. Uh, we think that the women want this. And so uh, from there, we also thought about the fact, you know, that many of the women have already registered for Women's Weekend. Uh, and so it's not going to really be a, a major financial impact. Um, the Lord blessed us. Um, I, I say the Lord sent us an angel to give us a sizable donation mm -hmm. uh, for the conference. So that's going to help undergird uh, the event as well as cover uh, registrations for those who may not be able mm -hmm. to register. So Beautiful. I'm excited about yes. that. And um, you know what? We this has been a rough year. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have we. We have gone through a lot of things this year. We have been cooped up yes. <laughs> uh, in the house, yes. uh, only going out when absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. So I think the women are ready yes, uh, to get out and have a good time. Yeah. So one of the things I was really excited about was the theme for the year. Yeah. You know, and we are certainly living in a time where um, God's truth is being challenged. Mm -hmm. So are we sticking with the same theme? Are you mixing it up a little bit and changing it? What are your thoughts there? Well, we're going to keep the same thing. Okay. Um, preserve to uphold God's truth. We've yeah. already talked about it throughout the year in our Bible studies and, th and, and things like that. But the Lord just one morning in prayer uh, gave me an addendum to that theme. And it, it really just blew my mind when it gave it to me. I've talked about it before, but I just never connected it. Mm -hmm. And um, and the Lord gave me um, Psalm 92, mm -hmm. verse 10. 
uh, and thou shalt be anointed mm. with fresh oil. Uh -huh. And he gave me some other things that go with it, but yes. I'm trying to hold on to that uh -huh. uh, for uh, Friday night. But I think, I, I believe that it was, it, it is a message to the women. Mm -hmm. It is a um, God's response yes. to our response mm -hmm. when all of these things mm -hmm. happen. And I believe that God has great things in store for the women of God yes. and uh, Women's Weekend is going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're so excited gearing up for it and speaking to that. So let's talk a little bit about what Women's Weekend is going to look like. Okay. So a little, a little bit to, you know, what the Lord's given you. So okay. first and foremost, we are really excited that you will be bringing forth the word on Friday night. Oh. The women of God are looking forward to hearing from you. We know it's been a phenomenal year um, with you going before the women of God. So there are, we are all going to be on the edge of our seats waiting to hear the word from the Lord. But what about Thursday night? I think it begins October the 22nd yes. and runs through the 24th. So share with us what's going to be happening during the conference. Well, uh, Thursday night is our pastor. Yes. Uh, and, you know, the Lord always gives him a word specifically for the women. Yes, he does. And so I'm just excited, looking forward to hear what God has given our leader, mm -hmm. our man of God. Uh, and so I th I, I'm excited uh, that the women will be able to hear specifically from here. You can hear from anybody. Right. We can hear from everybody, but nobody can really speak into our lives like our That's leader. So and so Thursday night, uh, we're going to have our leader to speak. And then on Friday night, we are, you know, that's our women only night. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that time where we feel like, you know, whatever burdens we've had all year, whatever challenges we've had all year, you know, this is our time to just come yes. and go before the Lord, however we want to. And so that's what Friday night is going to be about. Um, I'm excited about Mrs. Amani uh, Rayford, who's going to be with us. And wow, what an anointed young woman of God she is. And I'm, I'm looking, uh, hoping that she will even do a um, special prayer for our young adult ladies. God has given me a burden for our young adult ladies, L young ladies like your daughter's age, uh, women of God who are in the church, love the Lord, uh, and, you know, and we want them to have their space. We want we want to pull them on into the women's department. And so we want to just having a prayer for them. And, you know, the pastor has been talking about the Holy Ghost, yes. our need for the Holy Ghost. And so we want to make sure um, that our young adult ladies are filled with the Holy Ghost. We want to make sure that our young adult ladies know that even at their age, God has preserved them yes. uh, to uphold God's truth. God has preserved them for such a time as this. Yes. We're living in unprecedented times yes. and all of us need to rise to the occasion and be ready mm -hmm. to be used by God in whatever way yes. he desires to use us. So I want these young women on fire, ready to go forth in the things of God. Awesome. So what's happening Saturday? Well, Saturday, you know, that's our, what I call fun day. Okay. You know, <laughs> Friday night is, you know, serious. We going before the Lord, but Saturday, you know, we're coming. Um, it's going to be our fellowship time. Okay. Of course, we're going to still have to social distance and, mm -hmm. and do all of that. But it's going to be a time where, you know, I believe that God has given the women of God a special bond mm -hmm. through prayer. Yes. You know, we have really connected this year through our prayer. And I, I and, but, and, and we've had our second Tuesday nights. Mm -hmm. That's been great. But most of it, has been virtual. Mm -hmm. This is our time to come out. Yes. And so Saturday, you know, Saturday, we're going to be prissy. We're going to yes. put on our little um, casual outfits and we're coming out and we're, we're going to, um, we're going to have workshop sessions. We're going to start, you know, this is the church, you know, and our, our role is always to enhance yes. 
uh, spiritually. So we're going to start off with morning dew. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a quick shot in the arm, mm. a powerful speaker for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh -huh. And from there, we're going into breakout sessions um, with different um, ladies. Uh, and then from there, we have our Sisters Talk Live. Yes. You know, Sisters Talk Live is where we talk about issues yes. that relate to women. And so this year, we're going to be talking about the generations. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times what keeps women separated is sometimes our differences, right. you know, and, and we have generational differences. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I remember as a young a lady growing up, got saved at 16. And I remember, you know, being in the church at that age mm -hmm. uh, and the and the um, the di the difficulties mm -hmm. that sometimes young women have in the church. And so we want to talk about those differences. Right. We want to talk about how we're all just one body in Christ. Uh, and so that's going to be um, awesome. Just 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 laying it on the table. Yeah putting it out there and talking about um, uh, each one of us as gen we're generationally mm -hmm. different, yes. you know, and you, you being a mother mm -hmm. of millennials, mm -hmm. you understand that millennials yes, think on a whole different, different level, level. <laughs> you know, their way of processing and yes. coming to conclusions yes. are totally different. Yes. But that don't mean it's wrong. Exactly. It just means that it's different. Yes, and so we want to be able to understand that that's different, yes. but it doesn't mean because we don't want to uh, want a person's differences mm -hmm. if they are not biblically right. wrong. Mm -hmm. We don't want that to um, uh, push them away. Right or offend them. So we want, we want to use this as an opportunity to bring all the women, regardless to what generation you're from, let's all come together, uh, realizing that we've been preserved by the yes. Lord, realizing that shh, we have survived a whole lot yes. this year, and let's come together, let's lay aside our differences, let's lay aside, let's forgive, Yes. Let's lay aside um, those things that have um, separated us and let's come together and do the work of the Lord. I tell you, I'm excited <laughs> just hearing you talk about the day for Saturday, Friday night, Thursday night. I know we're going to be blessed of the Lord. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. too. So listen. So now we are in COVID-19. Right? Yeah. Now, one of the things our ministry has proud themselves on is that we've been functioning for what, about 20 weeks? Yeah, absolutely. This, mm -hmm. And we've not had one COVID case. Right. To God be Ooh, the glory. Thank you, Jesus. God is he amazing. Has. He is amazing. He has been faithful. You know, yes. our leader often says we come to church, we do our part. Right. We follow the CDC guidelines and then we trust God for the rest. Right. So share with us what is what is our plan for Women's Weekend to ensure that we're maintaining that constant with COVID-19 and the guidelines. There. OK, well, of course, we're going to we're going to do uh, we're going to have all the protocols in place that we as a church have always had in place. We are going to social distance. We're going to have the temperature checks, going to have to use sanitizer. Um, we're going to do all of that. So pretty much all of our events are going to be right here in the sanctuary so that we can um, social distance. And then when we get ready to have lunch, you know, we we wanted to really provide a nice lunch for the ladies because they registered and was looking forward to uh, um, going to the hotel. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so we provided a, a nice lunch, but we're not going to be able to all congregate together uh, because of the present distress. So we, we're having them professionally catered. They're going to be professionally boxed up uh, for the women to eat. And so I think we, we have everything in place. We've done what we know to do. Uh, we want everybody else to do what they know to do. We want every woman mm -hmm. to attend Women's Week in yes. 2020. But if you are sick, if you've been around anybody who has been exposed to COVID-19, mm -hmm. if you're having any symptoms of COVID-19, we ask you to stay home. Yes. We have a beautiful um, a bag that's full of goodies. If you stay home, you will still get that. And if we have to bring you your lunch, 
We'll try our best to do that, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure that we're doing what we, it's most important that we keep each other safe. Do our part to keep each other safe. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So listen, in our final question. Okay. So this has been an unusual year, right? Mm -hmm. It's been um, chaotic times. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I appreciate about you as the First Lady is that you have kept the women of God connected. Mm. Um, we had our sister's Bible study with the book of Esther. Mm -hmm. And then we transitioned in the summer with our prayer retreat where the Lord used you mightily Thank through God. those programs. Um, and now we're going to close the year out with Women's Weekend. Mm -hmm. And what is the Lord saying to you for the women of God as we close out this year? What's on your heart for the ladies? Well, I, I want the women to know that where we are now is not where we're going to be. Mm. I, I want the women to really not allow themselves to get depressed, not to allow themselves to um, lose hope. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming out of this. Mm -hmm. Better days yes. do lie ahead. And when we come out, we are going to be better. Mm. We're going to be better women of God. God, we're going to be better prepared. We're going to be um, deeper um, in Christ spiritually. And so um, I just want the women to know that God's got us and that um, it's going to be all right. And I think if the, uh, throughout the year, if there's one thing that I want the women to really hold on to, and that is prayer. Mm. A lot of times women are looking for answers. Uh, women, we are burden carriers. We're natural. We were made to carry. Yes. And so um, we carry burdens. And sometimes we wonder, what can I do? I want the women to keep in mind that you can always take it to the Lord mm. in prayer. Yes. You know, prayer is our greatest tool. It is our greatest weapon. Pray in the morning, mm -hmm. pray at noonday. When you feel overwhelmed, don't allow your mind to get out of control. Pray about mm -hmm. it. If, if you're having troubles in your home, pray about it. If your children have gone astray, pray about it. Whenever you're on your job and you're facing a challenge, Pray about it. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about prayer is you don't have to go somewhere, go down on your knees mm -hmm. and close your eyes yes. and pray. Yes. When you want to pray, you can be standing or sitting, looking someone in their face and praying mm -hmm. at the same yes. time. And so we I want women to really get mm -hmm. that prayer is our weapon. Mm -hmm. We have got to grab hold of prayer in these times that we're living in and in the our days that lie ahead, we have got to develop mm -hmm. a culture, a habit, and a lifestyle of prayer. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I tell you, you just we're just so excited. We know that the Lord is going to move by his spirit on Women's Weekend. And so, okay, ladies, by now you're probably wondering, what do I do? How do I register? So we know that you can register via our website, mm -hmm. upperroomgospel.org, right. mm -hmm. but also how else can women register, First Lady? Well, one of the things that we've tried to do this year is, because of the times, is to come up with a contactless way of registering. And so we have a QR code um, that this should be on the screens now. Uh, you can, um, it's, it's, it's on our Facebook page, on the Women's Ministry Facebook page, the Upper Room Church Facebook page. And wherever you see that code, you can scan it with your camera and then click on, um, on the, the, the uh, thing that the, the scan takes you to. Yeah. And then the registration uh, page will pop up. Register. Send it and that's it. You know, you don't have to um, touch anybody's hands. Nobody has to give you anything. So it's completely contactless, easy, simple to do. Um, and so we want everybody to register. Those that have already registered, 
All you need to do is just let us know that you are still coming and let us know what your meal choices are and you're done. Awesome. And again, anybody, and we want everybody to come that can't, that want to come. And, and if you cannot pay it, know that we have, um, we've already received a donation to help us cover on um, those registration costs. Awesome. Thank you so much for this time. I've truly Thank enjoyed you. hearing what the Lord has given you. And we are excited for Women's Weekend, October the 22nd through the 24th. God bless. It's going to be amazing. Grace is keeping me.